We share with them their delight in finding love with each other and support their decision to be together from now till the end of time. As this couple enters into marriage, they do so with thought and reverence. They give thanks to the past which brought them to this place and they look forward with hope to what the future holds. Marriage is like a great umbrella that shelters love from the elements. Why is love so important? Well, there are several works, written works, that tell us all about love. One of my favorites, Corinthians 1, tells us all about love. It tells us that love is patient and kind. It is not jealous or boastful, nor irritable or resentful, nor arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It does not rejoice in the wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes in all things, and endures all things, because love never ends. This marriage, the marriage of Kristen and George, is a symbol of their commitment to that love. It's the way that you move and I'm falling in love. It truly has been an amazing thing to watch Kristen as she's gone through her latest adventure of going from a friend to a girlfriend to a fiance and parenthood. I am more than excited to watch along as Kristen and George start this next chapter in their life. I know they will continue to put their family first and work for, through things that life has to throw at them. I love you as though you are my sister, and may the two of you have a blessed life together because you both deserve the world. With that being said, let us raise a glass to toast the newlyweds, wishing them love, laughter, and happily ever after. I'm falling in love. Oh. I'm falling in love oh, oh, oh. I have some very important questions for this new family we are seeing here today. So Kristen, will you promise to guide, nurture, and love Bella with unfaltering devotion? Will you care for her as your own from this day forward? I do. George, will you share the joys and responsibilities of Bella with Kristen? Will you trust her sincerity and accept her love for Bella? I do. And Bella, you are entering into a brand new family. Will you give this new family your trust, your love, and your affection? Yes. Yes, all right, we've got it. So let us pray then for the, this child who is entering into this new family life. Oh God, Father and mother of us all, we ask you to bless with your great love this wonderful child. She deserves the warmth, security, and environment of a loving family and ask that you give this family the peace and power of love which you have promised us all, your children. Amen. I, George, take you, Kristen, to be my wife. I, Kristen, take you, George, to be my husband. <laughs> I vow to love you when you drive me crazy. I vow to love you when you drive me crazy. To respect you when we disagree. To respect you when we disagree. To support you if bad times come our way. To support you if bad times come our way. And to always remember how grateful I am to always have you by my side. And to always remember how grateful I am to always have you by my side. We wish for you joy. A joy that makes you laugh out loud. A joy that lights your eyes and fills your soul, and a joy that shouts to the world of your happiness with one another. All of this and so much more we wish for you today and every day throughout all the years of your marriage. So you two have just heard words about love and about marriage. You've exchanged your vows, you've made your promises, and you've celebrated this union with the blending of sand and the exchanging of rings. It is at this time then that I take great joy in pronouncing you to be husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. I know you don't need me, but 